In a perfect world, you wouldn't need to free up RAM or random access memory on your Android. It's there to keep it running efficiently and smoothly. However, sometimes just one bad app can really hoard all the RAM on your Android, slow it way down. This video, I think, is going to help two different groups of people. It's going to help the people with the new phones that have tons of memory, like the new Samsung Galaxy phones, mm -hmm. and it's going to help the people with older phones that don't have as much memory to work with. Yeah. Two different use cases, one video. Let's get into it. The phone we're using is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, and despite its many, many faults, it does have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is more than enough for most people. But you're here to learn how to reduce RAM usage. Let's start in the settings app. Swipe down to the upper right-hand corner of the screen and tap on the settings gear. Then scroll down and tap battery and device care. Then tap battery, scroll down, and tap background usage limits. This makes your phone the parent, kind of. You're putting the kids to sleep, the apps to sleep. There's only so much bandwidth that a phone has. Mm -hmm. This lets it shut the things that it doesn't need running down. Yep, so we tap on sleeping apps real quick. Sleeping apps will run apps in the background only occasionally, whereas deep sleeping apps, deep sleeping apps will never run in the background of your Android. So if you have an app that's a really heavy app, maybe Facebook, for example, and you just don't want that to run in the background, and if it crashes, a lot could go wrong. You can just tap that plus button upper right hand corner of the screen and add whatever apps you want to deep sleep. Tap add. There you go. Facebook is one of those heavy apps, those bloated apps that yeah. really can take up a lot of memory both in the foreground and in the background. Yep, let's tap back and then back again I'm using that arrow in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then tap on more battery settings. Then here at the top of the screen, turn on that switch next to adaptive battery. Limit battery usage for apps that you don't use often. With adaptive battery turned on, your phone keeps track of the apps that you use most often and keeps them loaded in RAM, which is not a bad thing, but it also figures out which apps you don't use that often and kills them off right away when you don't need them anymore. So it's sort of a smart, phone setting. Right. It is a smartphone. It is a smartphone and they do have a lot of smartphone settings. This adaptive battery is a relatively new feature on Android and they come up with new ones all the time and we would love for you to make us your new subscription. So please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get to a million subs and we're almost there. So let's go back to the home screen Now we picked on Facebook a little bit earlier. And if you're having issues with Facebook or Messenger, there are light versions of those apps and there are light versions of some apps on Android that just use less RAM, and they also are better for when you're in low cellular areas that have less data on the apps that are easier to load over 2G or 3G. So if you go into the Google Play Store, type in Facebook Lite, for example. Let's tap into the search there. Facebook Lite install. Good way to you still use Facebook, but use a little bit less RAM when you're doing it. Even if you have a new phone, this is gonna make the Facebook app faster. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should start here, and then if they're missing features, go to Facebook yep. heavy. And you can tell that they're conscious that their main app is bloated because they're the ones that are building this app. Yeah. They also have a Messenger Lite app. I think Facebook recognized they have some issues and they said, all right, well, here are some Lite versions for you. I mean, how robust does the Messenger app really need to be? Not at all. Next, don't use a live wallpaper. That video constantly running on the home screen of your Android, especially when you're on the home screen, it's just gonna use more RAM than a static image. Let's go back to the settings app, swipe down upper right-hand corner of the screen, tap that settings gear, scroll up until you see wallpaper and style and here's where you can actually choose what that wallpaper is so for example you got my wallpapers coming here choose one of these these are all video wallpapers by the way we'll say video down there makes it easy to see which is which but you know maybe you want to change it to a home screen lock screen static image let's just tap on that one lock and home screens setting on lock and home screens and there we go, we've applied that to the home screen, and now it's not a video, it's just a static image, it's gonna use less RAM. Don't assume that all videos are the same here, because the ones that they're building in are gonna be optimized. Yeah. The ones that you make on your phone are probably not gonna be optimized. Or the ones that you download from TikTok, they're not gonna be no optimized. Chance. Next, make sure you don't have a ton of Chrome tabs open on your Android. People like me, we leave hundreds of tabs open sometimes and just forget to close out of them. We open up a new tab every time we go into Chrome or Safari. One of the ways that you know an app is using a lot of RAM is if you're using it, it starts to slow down. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever been in a website and it's going along zippy zippy, and then you're like, it's just getting slower and slower. Lower. Anyway, close that tab. Your phone will instantly become faster. Mm -hmm. Even if you go to the same page again, sometimes things can break on websites and it just fills up the RAM. So let's go to the home screen. I'm gonna tap that square button, bottom of the screen. Tap on Chrome. Up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you got a box with a number in it. That's the number of tabs open on your Android. Tap on that. So if you have a bunch of tabs open, you could go one by one tapping all those small X's. But sometimes what I like to do 
tap on that three vertical dots upper right hand corner of the screen, also known as the more button. Tap on that and then tap close all tabs. I thought you were going to say buy a new phone. Buy a new phone. You could buy a new phone yeah. Yeah, instead of closing all your tabs. Your that tabs. would work too. Yeah. So now we go back into Chrome. As you can see, we've got one tab now. That's the tab I'm in. Next, we're going to talk about how to identify these problem apps that can really hoard all the RAM on your Android. Let's go back to the settings app. Swipe down upper right hand corner of the screen and then tap on that settings gear. Scroll down until you see apps. Tap on that. The numbers that you see underneath each app are not memory, they're storage numbers. So if you have a 64 gigabyte phone, that's that. Memory, you have to tap on the app. Let's look at Facebook. Facebook. So in Facebook, if you scroll down to memory, 358 kilobytes used on average in the last three hours. That's because David has not used this app. You're gonna see a lot higher number than that. That's, yep. that's nothing. Let's go to Chrome, see what that's used. Let's go back to Chrome, tap back, scroll up, tap on Chrome. Scroll down to memory, 111 megabytes. And how much have you used Chrome? Not a ton, Not right? a ton. Right. So really look out for these gigantic outlier numbers, you know, high megabytes, even into the gigabytes. Right. And this is where David is showing you how to do things objectively. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, you know, go into your phone as you're using it and just get in touch with it mm. and feel if it's slow, does it feel burdened? Go into here and check to see if it really is. Right. If you see an app that's using a ton of memory, a few things you can do. First of all, there's that big force stop button at the bottom of the screen. That'll do what it says. It'll force the app to stop running, just kill the process altogether. Also kind of a lame Jedi power. Mm -hmm. I guess we can't all be Anakin Skywalker. My powers have doubled since the last time we met Count. Or some of us could just force stop. That's for sure. Now you go back into the app, see if it's working better now. If it's not, check for an app update. You might be running an outdated version of the app that doesn't have the latest code and that can cause problems. Go back to the home screen, tap on the Play Store to open that up. Go back to the main page of the Play Store and tap on your account icon at the top of the screen, then tap Manage Apps and Devices. Here you'll see updates available. I've got 27 updates available. You sound surprised nice. by that. Yeah. Full tap. No, well, you're not surprised. We did this on purpose <laughs> yes. to show you. You can either tap update all here or you can tap on updates available and just go one by one with your apps, but who's gonna do that? Update all is probably the way to go. And if the app continues to cause problems after you've updated it, it might be time to delete and reinstall. There could be a corrupted file in the app that's causing a bunch of problems for you. Deleting it and then reinstalling it gives it a nice fresh start. A lot of articles about reducing RAM usage on Android mention these third-party app task killers. We don't really recommend using those. Those can be problematic, not really for what they do as much as the spyware and malware and all the crap mm -hmm. that comes bundled with them. Mm -hmm. All these kind of crappy utility apps really are just not very trustworthy. Yeah, they can often cause more harm than good, especially if the developer isn't a yep. very good developer. Uh, exactly, and I mean, these are really like just cash cows for these developers. Mm -hmm. They stick a bunch of ads in them, and not all the processes on your phone are bad. Instead of downloading the third-party app task killer, we recommend just making sure your Android is always up to date. Let's go back to the settings app, tap on that settings gear, and then scroll down to software update, tap on that. Then tap download and install. They'll check if a new update is available. And while this is going, please join this channel. Joining is a great way to help us continue to make videos like this, mm -hmm. to get access to us, to get entered into giveaways, to get free emojis. What? You can join us. Please do. Please do. And here it says my software is up to date. If your software isn't up to date, it'll say download and install. Just tap that button. The update will download and install. That is how to reduce I'm sorry. No, I was just going to give Larry Nicholson a shout oh, out sure. for being our first Super David. Mm -hmm. I mean, thanks, Larry. Thanks, Seriously. you, Larry. That's how to reduce <laughs> RAM usage on your Android. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if any of these tips helped you out. And as we said earlier, please subscribe to and join this channel.